So this is one of the coolest plants. These are commonly called um, Indian pipes. Um, sometimes they're called ghost pipes, um, wax plants sometimes. But um, they're very strange. Um, they do come up and they do look like what, uh, the calumet, the, the peace pipe that uh, people are familiar with with some of the northern tribes, uh, Native American Indian tribes. Um, but uh, ghost plants, because they're so ghostly, they, they lack color. And they're all from growing in the shade, which is what these guys are doing. And they just appear magically, and then they kind of disappear. A lot of people think that, be, that because they lack all the color and so forth, that they're actually even fungi. But a lot of more complicated than that. Um, these actually come up out of the ground. And for, you know, they, they, they're attached to, um, to a lot of plant roots, particularly things like beech trees, but a lot of different kinds of trees. And a lot of people used to think, oh, they're parasitic plants. See, they don't need to be green, have no chlorophyll, because they're just picking the stuff living off of the substances supplied by the roots of the tree. But of course, it's never that easy. Um, as a matter of fact, these things actually live um, on the roots of certain species of, uh, of mushrooms that are specific to certain trees. Things like rosellas and the really cool lactarius, the ones that... Um, the milky mushrooms that when you pop them open that they bleed white milk um, and so that solves the problem they're mycorrhizal cheaters they cheat off of mycorrhizal fungi taking their food and those mycorrhizal fungi live in association with trees so it's a menage a trois as it were it's a three-way but um, there's a big problem with that and even though you may not be need green and so forth there are no pollinators underground and so once a year they send out these single stems. Um, monotropa means sing once turning, and uh, una flora means single pipe, uh, single flowered. And again, these are the once turning single flowers. Each stem it turns once and has one flower on the end. And they're pushing up. I'm gonna see without bruising them if I can show you. See some of these guys are pushing out right here. Um, these are some pretty neat little plants. And again, they can do everything they need underground, but they have to come up in order to get pollinated. Now, what's these things are even more ghostly because if they actually get bruised, they wither, they dissolve, they decompose very quickly. And so even more eerie look to them. They're growing in the shade. They're just ghostly white. All sorts of neat things to them. Um, they were used medicinally by several different tribes uh, when they could find them, including as an eye wash and so forth. But, um, but again, I'm kind of happy when you see these things. It's usually a sign of a fairly well-developed and healthy woods because you've got this, you need the fungus, which is mycorrhizal uh, symbiotic with the tree roots, helping the tree and the tree helping the, the fungi. But then you also have to, uh, when you have that fungi, then these guys can attach to that. So again, these are some neat little things. Their main pollinators are bumblebees, and once a bumblebee comes up and visits this, this will actually start to turn black. It'll turn straight now, it'll turn straight up. And when they do that, it'll rise a little bit, and then you have these kind of wicked looking uh, things just kind of standing out there. But that's just the stems being, you know, the stems reaching out so that the seeds can spread further. So here are our ghost pipes, Indian pipes, wax plants, whatever you like to call them. Monotropa uniflora, but as ghostly as they seem, their life is even stranger than fiction. Living as a cheater, feeding off of the fungus, which is obligated to feed off of a tree. A neat, neat, neat native plant of shaded woods.